Nick speaking and welcome to this video. Right, I've just been uh, taking some pictures of my laser cut card bastion device um, and I've had some great fun. I've been um, interchanging it with some of my other laser cut card stuff. So this thing here is actually the um, the grand obelisk which I've got from them which I've just put on the top of that section and wow <laughs> what an awesome piece of terrain that is um, by itself. But um, yeah, this video isn't actually about that, it's about the Bastion, which I've now painted, just put my tripod down. Okay, so yeah, I've painted it up, um, I did my usual colours, which was uh, Chaos Black Undercoat, then I did Dark Angels Green, uh, Snot Green, Scorpion Green, um, and then Methyl Silver for the silver sections. Uh, on this piece here, I went for something slightly different on the doors, because the design is actually very very small now when I paint this um, I paint the middle section and then I go inside all of the edges which takes up quite a bit of time um, but this is very very small so I just went in for some sort of little glow device um, on there I did actually manage to paint inside it wasn't too bad um, what I had to do I got an old brush and I basically just sort of broke it in half so I had a really small brush which enabled me to get in and up the edges so it wasn't too bad I had loads of old brushes anyway uh, so first of all let's set this up as a bastion just so you can have a quick look I will put all of the still pictures that I've just taken at the end of the video so you can get um, a closer look at it all but that is the bastion and it's such a big device let me pull that away there you go and obviously you can fit men on the top um, potentially with a squeeze you can get nine men on there um, so it's definitely very playable and of course it has the crystal top which I'm just getting now so this is the crystal top now I actually made a bit of an error with this because I was looking at my old crystal top which is this one and as you can see I've stuck the struts around the wrong way um, but visually I actually like it this way which is probably why I did it because I did this without using the instructions because I've made so many of these um, but I actually like it and it makes it a little bit different from like, the rest so I'm quite happy with it so that will just stand up on the top there which looks pretty smart and uh, of course this middle section um, as previously shown in the review video would go in here with the doors and these are all magnetized and then that piece on the top which makes a very cool stasis tomb piece of terrain like so um, and then not only that uh, but the way I've done my magnets is so that I can have two little sections like that if I want to um, and of course if you do this which is this is just the most amazing part of it which um, you know if you're the type of person that's got some monoliths and you never use your monolith uh, then this is going to be a reason for you to be able to get your monolith on the table because just get my monolith without breaking it it's all right that just slides up and down uh, just stick this in. Where are you? There you go. So one monolith piece of terrain. Now how fantastic does that look? Wow. Yes, um, very, very happy um, with this product. It's an amazing product. So if you haven't heard of it before, Lasercut Card website. Uh, the link is in the description below. Please go and check it out, some amazing stuff on there, not just Cyborg uh, stuff, but uh, he's got lots of other stuff on there, Chaos, Orcs, there's buildings, there's tanks, he's got a baffled, buffle tank on there, which I've uh, built and reviewed previously. Um, lots more to come uh, from that company, so definitely keep an eye out on the website. Um, and yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and some pictures to come. Oh yes, there's one other thing. I'm back. Um, I forgot to do this in the last video, actually, and I just I nearly forgot to do it here. Um, but I wanted to also show you something because this is also quite an important factor as well. Um, but check this out. So when you finish using it, 
you can do this. It stacks up there very, very nicely. And the crystal is able to go into there. Get that out of the way. And then that is able to go there. So that is the storage space. Um, so that was just something to, I wanted to show you because uh, that's also quite an important thing as well because storing a terrain is, um, is sometimes difficult, especially when it's big, large pieces. Okay, so that is definitely it for me at Pictures to Come. Thanks for watching.